Hello, students. Welcome back to Max Made Easy. So let us continue with the series of volume and surface area. Uh, where in the previous lecture, we have studied two shapes that was cube and cuboid. And we studied the different formulas of cube and cuboid. So we are uh, moving forward with the next shape that is cylinder. So this is a shape of a cylinder where in total, how many surface do we have? We have the upper surface, which is in the shape of a circle. We have the lateral surface, which is again in a circular form, which we call it as the CSA, that is the curved surface area of a cylinder. We also have the lower base in the shape of a circle again. So in total, how many surfaces do we have? We have the first surface, second and the third. So in total, we have three surfaces here. So let us study one by one. The first formula is the lateral surface area, which is in a circular form. And hence, we call it as a curved surface area. So let us study what is curved surface area formula. Now, students, when we look at the cylinder, the curved surface area, that means nothing but we want to find the outer line of the circle, right? The outer line of the circle. And the outer line of the circle is nothing but the circumference of the circle, right? So what is the formula for circumference of the circle? It's 2 pi r. But along with the outer line, what is included? The straight line that is nothing but the height. The height is included. So this becomes the curved surface area formula. And that is 2 pi r h. So curved surface area is basically the circumference into height. The next is the area of the upper surface and the lower surface, which is in the shape of a circle. So area of both the bases here. So area of bases is equal to the area of a circle is pi r square. So this is pi r square and the lower surface is also pi r square. So pi r square plus pi r square, we get 2 pi r square. Now we are going to add all this three surface and let us find what is the total surface area. So total surface area is when we add the above two formula, that is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square, we can take 2 as the common factor. We can take pi as the common factor. R is the common factor. What remains inside is h plus r. So this formula can also be written as 2 pi r in bracket r plus h, which is the total surface area of a cylinder. Till here, if you have any doubt, students, you can write in the text box and I will get back to you immediately. Now we'll do one thing. Let us do some few sums based on this shapes that we have studied. So in exercise 24a, we are going to start with exercise 24a. So exercise 24a, when we look at question number 2, sum number 2, the question is find the capacity of a rectangular, find the capacity of a rectangular, rectangular piston, rectangular piston. Now what is this? It is nothing but a rectangular box whose length is given, length is given as 6 meters, whose breadth is given, breadth is given as 2.5 meters and depth is given, depth is nothing but the height, height is given as 1.4 meter. They are asking us, find the area of iron sheet required, find the area of iron sheet required to make this piston, make this box, area of iron sheet required. We have to find the area of iron sheet required to make this piston. Now, area of iron sheet required. Find the capacity of a rectangular piston. Now, if the rectangular piston is open, okay, so they will be giving us that it's open from one side. But if it is not given, we are assuming that we have all the surfaces here. So, find the area of iron sheet required. So, we are going to find its total surface area TSA. 
So this is a cuboid. So what is the formula for TAC of a cuboid? It is 2 in bracket LB plus BH plus HN. Now before you substitute, we need to check that all the uh, dimension should be in one unit. For example, meter, meter, meter. If it is not, we have to make it in one unit. So now length is 6, breadth is 2.5 plus breadth is 2.5, height is 1.4 plus height is 1.4 and length is 6. Okay, now let us solve this further. 2 in bracket, 6 into 2.5. So, 6 into 2.5, we get 6 fives are 30, 3 carry, 6 twos are 12, 13, 14, 15. After one digit, we'll put a decimal point. It's nothing but 15. Then comes 25 into 14, 2.5 into 1.4. Let us remove the decimal and let us solve this further. 4 into 5 is 22 carry. Then 4 twos are 8, 9, 10. Then 0. 1 fives are 5, 1 twos are 2. We will add it 0, then 5, and then 3. Now here, here we have after one digit decimal, after one digit decimal. So in the answer, 1 plus 1, 2. After two digit, we'll put a decimal. So 3.50, we will write it as 3.5 plus 1.4 into 6. That nothing but 14 into 6. 6 fours are 24, 2 carry. 6 ones are 6 plus 2, 7, 8. After one digit decimal point. So it becomes 8.4. Okay, now let us add it. So it is 2 in bracket. So 0.5 plus 0.4. So how to add decimal number students? Now most of the time students do a silly mistake here. How they add the decimal number is they do something like this. They will add it as 15 plus 3.5 plus 8.4. Okay, they add and write the answer, but this is the wrong way of adding. 15, we will write it as 15.0, 3.5, 8 8.4. So there should be a decimal below the decimal. 5 plus 4, 9, decimal, 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 decimal. 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 8, 16. 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 2. So we get the five here. It's not the final answer. We get the sum of this number as 26.9. Now let us multiply. Two nines are 18, one carry. Two six are 12 plus one 13, one carry. Two twos are four plus one five. After one digit decimal, 53.8 meters squared. So hence we get the final answer. We will write it as, therefore, area of iron sheet required area of iron sheet required is 53.8 meters square. 53.8 meters square. So, in your 8th standard RS Agarwal ICSE book, we have only these three shapes that is cuboid that I have covered in the previous video. Q that again is in the one of the video and now this is cylinder. So, henceforth we will be doing all uh, almost all the important questions from exercise 24a. So if you don't want to miss any sum, please do subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed it. If you have liked, if you have understood what I have taught, then do like the video and share it with your friends. We will meet in the next lecture. Bye students, keep learning.